It's more than just a show. It's community. It's the Stillwater Morning Scramble with Steve Daniels on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network. Stillwater Morning Scramble, glad to have you here and glad to have the mayor in, Will Joyce. Been mayor how long now? Uh, just over a year. Uh, it seems like longer for in, some in of a us. Way, in a way. <laughs> you like doing the meetings, though? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's... it's um, it feels like we've made some progress in some areas, right? In some other areas where we're we're still treading water a, a bit, but we've got some, um, you know, some projects out there on the horizon, some some interest happening, some you know, we've had a lot of discussions. I, I think in the first year I've been in this seat, I've probably made a little more people mad than I needed to sometimes, right? I mean, I've kind of tried to, or, to or, now upset it, the apple cart a couple places. Um, is that a regret you have, or is it something that, no. that you go um, that you were surprised maybe that people react so strongly, but you still would do the same thing? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I, I don't think, you know, I think the stuff that we focused on and tried to push forward is stuff that all needed to happen. We've, we've needed to be a little bit more aggressive with our economic development uh, plans and with... Um, you know some of our uh, quality of life development initiatives and and some of the things that we've we've really pushed on the last year uh, that's, that stuff needed to happen for sure I think some of it yeah there's been a little bit I've been a little bit surprised with some of the pushback I mean I know there are, are folks that have different opinions about those kinds of things and there are um, people whose interests uh, you know lean different ways uh, which is all you know that's all fine uh, I think I have been a little bit surprised at at some of the the level of just emotion and and uh anger that kind of seems to get uh boiled up and stuff like this right because a lot of it is just even at the hey we're just talking about doing something here you know we haven't even right. really done anything um we're just having the conversation and sometimes it feels like even having even trying to have some of those conversations there's just people who don't even want to to go there and so uh i you know i'm there's no reason to do this job uh, as a city councilor, as the mayor, uh, f- from my perspective, if you're not going to try to push forward on the things you think need to happen, right? I mean, showing up at meetings every other Monday and passing budgets and, and you know, approving, you know, right. contracts and that kind of thing. I mean, that's, that's not the a- – anybody can really do that. That's not a – that's not a – uh, something that I got into this to do, right? Hey, I want to be the guy that approves the the contract for mowing services or whatever. You know, I mean, that's and we the, all have a different vision. Some sure. people uh, say, well, "Why do we want to grow? Sure. Why do we want to be bigger?" And there are a lot of there are a lot of you know, I've I have been somewhat surprised sometimes with the the variety of opinions there are. And there are folks who say, you know, we don't we don't want solar to be any bigger. Uh, we don't want to bring in you know that kind of activity or or cater to that kind of a you know, uh, an event or something in, in town. Uh, and there are people who think, you know, Stillwater is, is, you know, all around terrible and everything has to change. And, and, you know, if we're not Edmund in five years, then we failed and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So there, there's definitely both sides of it. And, and again, I think it has been a little bit surprising the level of, I guess, passion is probably the right. best word that, uh, that you sometimes see from, from folks on those ends. And, and I think for me, you know, kind of jumping in. Um, I don't. I don't th- think I would have changed any of the things that I've I've pushed for or focused on. I mean, the economic development plans, the uh, the stuff we've done there. Uh, I'd absolutely think those are priorities. I think we need to continue to push. Uh, I may have approached it a little bit differently if I had a better understanding of of kind of people's um, viewpoints and and the positions that that different people were taking. So uh, it, it's definitely been a learning experience, man. I've I've never. <laughs> you know, uh, nothing I'd done before really prepared me for, for, for this role. And so, you know, that's interesting because when, when we get, say, a new president or a mm-hmm. new governor or whatever, they have no idea yeah. because the person that gets there has never done this before. Yeah. It's always your first time. Yeah. And so I think there is a sympathy and an empathy, certainly an understanding to people who've had the job before because you can't please everybody. No. And that that's true, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of folks who you know have been in these positions before, even folks that that maybe disagree with some of the stuff that we've done, who still you know will come up and say, hey, you know, I understand, you know, I get it, you know, and know, you know, what it's like. And and that's a, but you know, there's there's no there's no substitute for experience, right? I mean, at some level, you just you have to get yourself in there and and start getting in the mix and and dealing with these issues to really understand, um, you know, what what to do with them. Uh, but the, you know, so it, it's been um, uh, it's been a huge learning experience. It's been it's been a great experience, I think, for me over the first you know year and a couple of months uh, being being the mayor. 
uh, met a lot of great people, learned a lot of great things about a town that I grew up in and I thought I knew really well. Yeah. Um, I've learned a, t- a ton of things about Stillwater and the stuff that we have to offer here and the people that are here. And, um, you know, it, it's been uh, really eye-opening in a lot of respects, not just the, not just the negative ones, right? There's been a lot of positive uh, learning that's happened as well. It's more than just a show. It's community. It's the Stillwater Morning Scramble with Steve Daniels on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network.